Now, First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankoski. This is exactly what you want in late summer, at least I think, with little humidity, no humidity in most cases, and a ton of sunshine. The temperature is at 75 and the dew point in the mid 40s means that the air is just bone dry. There is a bit of a wind out of the north northwest at 12 miles per hour, but it's a comfortable breeze at this point. Most of the area is mainly clear. There have been some stubborn clouds basically over Lake George points east into southern Vermont, but the radar scans are dry across the region and I expect it to stay that way for at least 24 hours we're dry through tomorrow because if you look off to the west there's just no rain on the approach so that is the plan going through thursday right now we have a number of 60s to go around 66 in hyde park for example 60 in j 72 though in waterbury and heading south it is a little bit warmer closer to 80 degrees once you head down towards the massachusetts border at 78 in bennington and no matter where you look, the blue shading here on the dew point map indicates that the air is refreshing. There's no humidity to go around. It'll be on the cool side tonight. How about 54 for a low? Average low is 59, so we're a little bit below that. But it is a dry night, and it's a dry Thursday. You see that here on Futurecast with mainly sunny skies tomorrow. But late in the day, about this time, the clouds will start to increase. I don't think we see rain during the day tomorrow, but the sun will tend to fade away before it sets because of the clouds that are moving in. And that is a sign of change for Friday. But enjoy it tomorrow. 79, that's the average high. That's what we're calling for tomorrow. So it's a beautiful Thursday. Now the trouble with Friday is that we have a couple of fronts coming through, but we're looking at 75 in Montpelier tomorrow, 76 in St. Johnsbury and 77 in Rutland. We've stopped the clock early on Friday. This is 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday. A lot of rain, especially in southern and western areas, but this batch of rain eventually overtakes the entire region by mid and late morning. So I think the wettest part of Friday is in the morning and then the rain diminishes later on, but I don't think we see a lot of sun whatsoever on Friday. A little bit of sun on Saturday, but even Saturday is going to be a little bit lacking in terms of sunshine. One day that will not be lacking in the sunshine department is Monday, and that is important because of course the great eclipse occurs on Monday afternoon. And in the Champlain Valley specifically, we're looking at a two and a half hour partial eclipse. It starts at 123 and doesn't end until 353. Of course, you need the protective glasses to look at it, but there is quite a window there and at max, 60% of the sun will be hidden, so over half of the sun is going to be blocked by the moon on Monday. So this is what the forecast looks like going forward. The weekend is nice. Saturday, a little bit too many clouds to see a ton of sun. Sunday, definitely the brighter of the two days, 80s this weekend, 85 and mostly sunny. We'll call it bright except for during the eclipse on Monday. And we warm up into the upper 80s by Tuesday. It's still dry and then a few showers arrive on Wednesday. That's my latest first alert forecast. Stu, back to you.